Hallelujah. And praise the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. We are delighted to come to you again this morning to deal with our topic still of forgiveness. We believe that together with us, you've been able to learn something on the topic of forgiveness. Today we want to look at what scripture asks us to do, and that is to be ready to forgive and even forget the offense. And I think it's better at this stage to remind us that, you know, a lot of times we forget that we live in a fallen, this, this world is a fallen world and full of fallen people. And as you said yesterday, if they have not hurt you today, be ready, they could hurt you tomorrow. It's just the nature of this fallen world. So today we'll be looking at why we have to be ready to forgive. And scripture even asks us to be able to forget whatever offense uh, that will be committed against us. So we'll take our reading from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, and verse 17, the second part of it. Yes, uh, Nehemiah 9, uh, 17b says, But you are a forgiving God, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. Therefore you did not desert them. Yes, and other versions will say, but you are a God ready to forgive. This is the nature of God. What does that say about God? He's ready? Even someone is ready, what does that mean? It means actually any delaying uh, tactic is done by the person on the other side. And mm -hmm. in on this his part? case, it's us. But on God's part, he is more than ready. Mm. So whatever happens, it's us who delay ourselves to get some things. And God on his, on his part is He's ever ready. So Just it, waiting. It also means that he expects. Yes. He also expects us to be ready to forgive. <laughs> and even to fall. <laughs> and even to, you know. So he's ready. God on his part knows that. Uh, so I, I think sometimes we expect too much. <laughs> sure. We expect too much. And um, also around it, um, the whole struggle, we talked about struggle yesterday, but have you noticed that sometimes it's so easy to forgive a stranger than to forgive your own? Yes, because... <laughs> to, to Why is that? <laughs> you know, to forgive uh, your, your own means that is somebody who is next to you at all times. Anytime, every time you look at them, you remember what they have done. Mm -hmm. The emotions ring back. <laughs> the emotions ring back. Into what, into what they did, mm. and, and, you, and that can only show that there's still unforgiveness that is dealt with. For somebody that is far... <laughs> I mean, you do not know them, so, I mean, it doesn't really... But I think the people close to us, we expect that they should know better. And do better. And, and do, do better. better. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why we tend to hold uh, too much. On the people we know. That's, that's so difficult yeah, that's to, to, to accept. You would, you would you imagine that the reverse is what should be happening. You would imagine that it should be easy for me to forgive my mama than to, 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 to forgive a stranger. But the, the contrast is, is, is what happens. That somebody walks past you and puffs, you know, cigarettes on your like, and, and, and takes seconds and somebody forgets. But this auntie who said you will walk like a turkey for a lifetime, we are struggling to forgive them. That's, 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 that's unimaginable. So, um, as I said in the introduction, scripture also asks us to forget. Let's have a discussion on that. How is this forgiving? How is the forgetting bit of it? Yes, and, and you see that, that that is interesting. But, uh, forgiving and forgetting, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to do, mm -hmm. but it is possible. <laughs> with it is help. possible. It is possible by, by the, the grace of God. By the grace of God, it is possible. Mm. Because um, we, we must forgive and forget so that we are not held captive. 
you are not held captive of, of, of that unforgi unforgiveness. Mm. Many times when, when you see that person again who did wrong, the entire, your emotions will ring back into you that you have not forgiven. Mm. And even, the, even in your dealings with them in future or any time, Mm. Uh, when they present to you that, uh, that actually it is so and so that you need to get help from you, say no. <laughs> I think let me look for help from another source. Mm. You know, it taints your picture you, and, and it, it's, uh, it looks like you, uh, you have been held captive by that unforgiveness. And the, the quicker you release them, the quicker you forgive and forget is when you can enjoy, start to enjoy a beautiful relationship with them as God intends. So forgiveness is key and, and to forget is very much better so that uh, your, any future relationships uh, with that person, mm. they can be with, with clearly uh, dealt, uh, you can deal with them with a kind of love uh, of Christ and not because of what they did uh, years ago, months ago. So it sets a good relationship. Yes, Rogers. Is it possible to forget? I'm thinking about this and uh, like one would ask a question mm -hmm. of, uh, I've forgiven you, you've wronged me, mm -hmm. but I cannot forget what you did. Mm. But I just decide to, to let go. Of course, I know what you did, mm. but I need to put myself in a situation where I guard myself not to let mm -hmm. that feeling uh, determine what I think about you. So it's, it's in a way it is paradoxical That's to true. me because, uh, uh, because of certain things. But scripture still tells us in the book of Jeremiah mm -hmm. uh, 31, uh, 34, that uh, the Lord says, I will forgive them for the things they did. Mm -hmm. And I will not remember their sins. So I think based on the fact that we are created in the image of God and in, and in his likeness, he would expect us actually to do the same because he forgives us and he clears out mm. the sin. He doesn't remember it. He doesn't put it upon us because of what we did. So he, we are expected to, to be like God. Because God has said it is now an expectation, you know, from us that we should be able to forgive and even forget. And I think that's why um, also the scripture says, if he marked iniquity, who would stand? Everyone would be found wanting, actually. <laughs> he says, the time is going to come that the sin of Jacob will be looked for and to not be God. That's, that, that's the privilege that we have as believers in Christ. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he taken our sins from us. So but it's, you mentioned a very important thing. Um, because I've, I've met people who narrate to you how they were mistreated as children. Mm -hmm. And you know, word for word, then they did this, then they did that, then they said that. And now they are talking to you they are 51 years. And you're like, so you've been such a repository of, of history, negative, very dull history about your life. One after another. So that tells you that they've not been able to, 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 to get rid of what the, the experiences were. So I do also agree that it might be difficult to forget. But as it said, you mentioned a very important point. And don't allow your decision to be determined by what you can remember yes. as something that was negative, that was done. I think that will be proof that you are above it. That proves that you are above it. Even to God, that you are above it. So that means when you go to the village and she's expecting you to give her nothing, then you give her 20,000. And then, and then, and then, that Bible says you'll be setting coals of fire on their heads. Actually, <laughs> Jesus tells us to bless those who hurt us. That's true. And uh, this still in, this, in the same line. That's true. Uh, forgiveness. When you bless someone who hurts you, uh, they expect the opposite. The opposite. Since, since they hurt me, uh -huh. uh, then I need to hurt them as well. Mm -hmm. so that's what they think. But when you come out and you instead bless them, that blows their minds up. They don't expect that. That's true. So um, that's, that, those are powerful lessons. And we, we, we hope that you're learning. 
according to scripture and according to God himself, he expects that we behave. That's the only way we're different. we become different from non-believers. They're expecting us to fight back. They're expecting us to deny them money, to chase them, and we don't. And it surprises them. So why don't you surprise someone by doing the contrary? As you, by the grace of God, learn to forgive and to forget. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.